Welcome back. GPCC spokesperson Alex Reginald has criticized the BJP-led government and challenged Dr. Wilfred Miskita to come for an open debate on Dabuni parking land denotification. He criticized CM Manohar Parikar and said that he is not fit to be the chief minister of the state. The acquisition which they were supposed to denotify, they had filed a case, the BJP filed a case that uh, they against the denotification, that 31 man of Dabuni, 31 man of Dabuni. That same case he is protecting. Forget protecting. Let us go to the people of Goa. Let us discuss. Let us debate this issue. If you have the guts, I call upon uh, uh, Dr. Wilfred Mishita. Come. Tell the people of Goa that I have uh, taken something and I have kept quiet. Or because I have been given the BJP spokesman, I am keeping quiet. Or I am protecting Manohar Parikar. Itla fraud of Munis ki ani asli munchan is not fit to be the chief minister. Zomuni Sulitala corruption Naga, Zomuni Sami continuous Sulitai, Ki zero tolerance to corruption, FR Richard Zabazai, Aniki Zabazai, Omuni Sportagota. People of Kunkoli have given a green signal to the NIT project. People had demanded that their jobs and admissions for locals are met. Oot Kukorkara, an organization along with Kunkuli Citizen Forum, had opposed the setting up of the NIT. Now they claim that only 7 lakh square meters will be utilized for the project instead of 12 lakh 67 thousand, saving a huge forest cover. This yeah, NIT is National Institute of Technology next to IIT. And we have to go to the Kunkulkara and cover the valor. कि 12 लाख 60 आने 7000 स्क्वायर मीटर ज़मीन एक्वायर कर चुके हैं। बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट आन 7 लाख स्क्वायर मीटर ज़मीन ड्रॉप कर ले। आने इतनों बाली ची एक स्क्वायर मीटर लोगों ज़मीन ऑसना। ये दोन दंगर आले जब 7 लाख स्क्वायर मीटर टोटली आउट गए ले एक्विजिशन आ जाए। दुसरों The multi-purpose indoor stadium being constructed at Goa University complex is proving to be the most challenging part of infrastructure for Lusophonia Games. The stadium needs extensive welding work which can only be done on a dry weather day. Basketball, volleyball and ten table tennis competitions will be held at the venue at Goa University complex. Work is being carried out in full swing at Pede, Bamburi and Goa University complex as the government faces a race against time to complete the Lusophonia Games infrastructure. With the monsoon taking intermittent break and sun coming out these days, this work will progress but it will suffer when the rains pick up momentum. CEO of Lusophonia Games, Keshav Chandra, expressed the concern. Indoor stadium which is built at the university grounds, that is the most challenging part because it's a large stadium. And uh, the structure as such demands special fabrication techniques. There are trusses which are to be welded at the height of 30 meters and the span of few trusses are 60 meters. So what it requires is that welding has to go on for 24 hours without any break. And for welding to happen at that height it requires special manpower and it also requires dry uh, patch. So you can't have rains when the welding is going on. But whenever there is uh, the weather clears, then uh, the leftover works are carried out without any delay. Bureau report Prudent. If you've missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at the rate prudentgoa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. With this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. You're watching Prudent.